In the mid-2000s, North Carolina Baptists were beginning to grapple with a serious challenge that was approaching fast. Men and women who had survived the Great Depression and World Wars were now facing old age, and many were at it alone. So in 2009, at the request and with the support of the Baptist State Convention of North Carolina, Dr. Michael C. Blackwell and his wonderful team at the Baptist Children's Homes began the North Carolina Baptist Aging Ministry. We had this incredible committee of North Carolina Baptists who came together. We had attorneys, we had social services directors, and out of that came this incredible idea of what we needed to be doing, the North Carolina Baptist Aging Ministry, and here it is today, 10 years later, stronger than ever before and more innovative than we ever thought it could be. And so whether it's emotional, psychological, physical, or spiritual, NCBAM decided we want to be there to offer help in whatever way you need it to successfully navigate these senior years and make them the best years of your life. Help for the journey. The goal was simple. Learn as much as possible about the needs of aging seniors and the services already available to them. The mission, bridge the gap with practical help and the message of the gospel. Help for the Journey is our mission statement for NCBAM. It's about meeting aging adults in their life where they are. Some of them are well aging, some of them are frail aging. At North Carolina Baptist Aging Ministry, our goal is to help aging adults, 65 and older, to stay in their homes as long as possible. As the director of NCBAM, Dr. Sandy Gregory spent a year traveling across the state, consulting with federal and local agencies that serve aging populations, as well as social workers, government officials, local pastors, and most importantly, older adults. As we started NCBAM, the needs of aging adults were, were tremendous. From transportation, going to the doctor, going to the grocery store, or even just going to church. Just having a friendly person come by and say, hello, we love you, we still know you, and we care about you. As we celebrate 10 years of serving North Carolina seniors, NCBAM is proud of what we've accomplished. Our call center has answered more than 25,000 calls serving over 4,000 aging adults and meeting needs in all 100 counties across our state. NCBAM has mobilized church volunteers to build wheelchair ramps and grab bars in homes, offer transportation assistance and lawn maintenance, as well as prayer and friendly visits. Altogether, through NCBAM, church volunteers have spent 33,000 hours serving the frail and elderly in their communities. NCBAM set a world record in 2012 when our partners and churches built 321 wheelchair ramps in a single day through the Rampin' Up emphasis. All in all, NCBAM and their incredible volunteers have built over 1,000 ramps across the state for those in need. These ramps make the world accessible again. Sunshine, fresh air, community to people who would otherwise be isolated. NCBAM is also actively at work developing leadership in senior adult ministry for local churches across the state. Reverend Stan Heiser serves as chairman for NCBAM's AIM emphasis. North Carolina Baptists have a jewel in NCBAM. AIM, Aging Adults Innovating Ministry, is a group of men and women who work with senior adults uh, and work with NCBAM to help train leaders with senior adults and to improve senior adult ministries. And I'm excited over the past four years, more and more churches have gotten involved and they have said, we wanna be a part of the program. We would like for our church to be one of the churches that the call center calls in our community. The more churches who are involved in the program, the more ministry we can do throughout North Carolina. One day, the center received a call from Marjorie Bass in Hickory. Marjorie needed help with groceries. Patsy Lyons from Woodlawn Baptist Church picked her up and off they went. 
I was able to help go get groceries for her. That's when I first met her. That was one of the biggest needs that she had. Uh, it's really a blessing to be able to just be there for somebody and help them any way we can. And we kind of hit it off. And I've just enjoyed being around her. It's a friendship with Patsy because she would come over and visit. But then I got to where I couldn't get around as much. So she would go and get groceries for me and bring them in the house, put them away, and just about everything. So I just continued to pray for her that God would open up her heart and that she would accept him into her life. So one day I asked her, I said, Margie, would you like one of our pastors to come and speak with you? And she said, that would be great. So that's when Pastor Jerry came down to visit with her. So I just sat there and shared with her the gospel and uh, asked her if she would be interested in doing that, and she said yes. So we uh, prayed right there in her room and asked Jesus into her heart. And it was just amazing to see the transition in her, in her countenance just almost immediately uh, at how God changed her in that. And now she's studying and learning and growing, and it's exciting. Oh, it means all the world. It's completely different. Have a completely different outlook on everything. The fact that she's invited God into her heart uh, gives her a peace and a joy. I think the MCBAM organization is a great thing. They help a whole lot of people, not just me. Sometimes when you get old, people seem to ignore you. So having an organization that is looking out for you means all the world. A simple act of love rippled through eternity. As we move through our 10th year, NCBAM is venturing into our boldest program yet. One of the biggest problems in America today is that aging adults are lonely and isolated. They no longer have family living near. They do not go out. There are so many lonely senior adults. There are so many senior adults committing suicide because they are lonely. NCBAM is going to address those issues. One hope is the focus of helping aging adults with those problems of being lonely. We are developing tools and resources for churches to address isolation and loneliness, and we're connecting the lonely with community and ultimately with Christ. And we need to have friendly visits, even just friendly phone calls. How are you doing? How's life going? Can I help? And my, oh my, are these things so incredibly welcomed by those who are just starved for attention. We want to have innovative programs. We want to involve as many North Carolina Baptists as we can to continue to fulfill what we started to do 10 years ago. And as I told a group recently, you ain't seen nothing yet. As we celebrate our 10th anniversary, we want to say thank you to North Carolina Baptist for volunteering, for praying and supporting this growing ministry. Call NCBAM at 877-506-2226 to join us in the journey.